Good afternoon, everybody. Olav here, and welcome. Pew, pew, pew. Welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. Thank you. All right. So, um, I get the feeling we're supposed to look at his to-do list. He needs to break into the pillow factory, get a key to the factory gate, and collect uh, win tickets to beeping contest. I hate my life and go f yourself for. F yourself if you found this note and are reading it. All right. But there is a con to uh, a... It's a bunch of boxes and lines. Game design, probably. I don't want to talk to him. He's Corey. And he's Corey. And not to be a rude ransom, but we're trying to get into character for the lookalike contest. Yeah, so get out of here. <laughs> Good one, Corey. No, it For a should moment, be, you I know, thought you were Ransom the F Clown. Off. Amateurs. Wow. No need to start swearing. Are you it's kidding me? Costume. It's like you're not even trying. Ooh, burn. All right, so let's. Ready to face my adoring public. Yeah. Contest already. Thank you all for coming to witness the Ransom Lookalike Contest. We've got a great crowd here tonight. What is he, blind? Huh, stinks in here. Yes, well, it looks like we've got some great entries and some not so great entries. But I'll be the judge of that. That's right. I'll be judging the contestants right. as they try to make us laugh. First up, we have Corey. I'm Ransom, the jerk clown. It's Ransom, the insult clown, you moron. That's not a nice thing to say. Well, yeah. Ooh, that's some cape you've got on there, kid. I bet your mom made it with love. I hope there's a Batman look-alike contest for you soon. You definitely win. <laughs> really? It's You're so being convincing. nice. You've got to be kidding. That wasn't an insult. It was a crappy compliment. You're all poo-poo heads. Yeah, Just like Winnie this... the Pooh. You're sweet as a honey pot. No way. What? That's... You guys love that pillow factory. Yeah. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. The pillow factory closed down 10 years ago. Get off stage. What's the deal with all these Tron machines? The Tron machines have saved our town countless times. There's no reason not to rely on them. Um, yeah, there is. You read the rag the nickel news i'd use it as toilet paper but i'm not sure it could fit any more on its pages <laughs> why don't you just go flush yourself down the toilet instead oh come on bunch of ingrates sounds like someone has to update their jokes now we have our final contestant okay Corey. so that's probably what the next de what the next step is for this is to update the jokes wasn't Chuck the best human? Don't you think? Yes, and where's the punchline? Punchline? What are you talking about? Bloop, bloop, and beep, bloop. It's beep for sake. Not <laughs> bloop. Don't be yeah. mean. You're all silly billies, but you're still lovable. Oh. I Kill see that now. piece of dust out there that's just like tempting me. Mm, this won't take long to decide the winner. In first place is obviously Corey. What? Oh, bye. Thank you. 
Cory wins a licensing deal with Mega Mega Toy Company. I'm going to make a cute fuzzy dog. But you could just walk into any toy store and buy that already. Second place is Cory. Of course it well is. Totally rigged. Yeah, and you have the real Ransom the Clown. With Cory. It's a pleasure to come second to his first. You've won a gift card for facial reconstruction surgery. How exciting! Just like my hero, Michael Jackson. Which leaves third and last place to... What was your name, anyway? It's Ransom, you idiot! Oh, your name is Ransom, too? That's an odd coincidence. Pity your act wasn't very convincing. Ugh. Ugh. So third place goes to the poorly named Ransom. You win an easy listening theremin record by Psykin. Congratulations to those what? who put some effort in. Wow. Just wow. It's turned on. Hello, fans and tuna heads. Just wanted you to know that I'm Ransom the Clown and you're not. Okay, but is there anything else that we can do here? Now that's an improvement on that sign. I'm guessing not. So, all right, uh... It's a puzzle dependency chart. The secret to adventure game design. Ooh, cutting edge computer technology. Si I feel like this Spock cosplayer is ahead of our time. Why is he silent though? Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Looks like Marvin's cousin, Gary. Just like the ones in my old bedroom. He's got, it's a character from the upcoming adventure game called Robot Island. Just like the ones in my old bedroom. He's got a rare South African soccer player that I don't have. Right, wonder how we can get that. Uh, get key to factory, find out what happened to dad. Do you need some Brand. advice? Oh, hi Dolores. What brings you back to Thimbleweed Park? Uh, I need you to I read I need you the... to read Uncle Chuck's will. Chuck never paid me to read his will. My fee was $15,000, and I didn't see a cent of that Holy shit! I'm sure he must have paid you. It's not like Uncle Chuck to forget something like that. Unless I see proof, I won't believe it. How else can I help you, Dolores? Are you an expert on cosplay as well? Just yeah. the legalities of cosplay. It's a fascinating intellectual property question. By cosplaying, you appear to represent the company, so their trademark... That's okay. I don't need to know the details. How else can I help you, Dolores? Well, uh, you See need you later, proof. It's the stub of a check that was made out to an attorney. Brant, it's the stub of a check that was made out to an right. attorney. Brant, what good is a check stub? It doesn't prove anything. I'd need the actual canceled check as proof. Okay, so we need to get her to the bank. So we need to get her to the bank. in order to uh town hall no all right we need the bank there it is Hello, Safely First Savings. Your money is in our hands. Be with you in a moment, Miss Edmund. Is this an obscene phone call? I hope so. I need to keep them on long enough to trace the call. Yes, how can I help you, Miss Edmund? Can you help me with this check stub? Oh, yes. This handwriting brings back a flood of memories. Too bad about Good Mr. Good or Edmund. bad? He was such a wonderful man. 
Can, can you give me Excuse the... Excuse me. I'm sorry. How can I help you? I need a copy of the check that goes with this stub. Yes, I believe I kept all of Mr. Edmund's cancelled checks right here. Oh, good! Here it is. Thank you. You're really not Hello, gonna... Hello, safely first savings. Your money is in our hands. Are, are, are you coming on to me? I need to keep... I know you need to keep him on the line long enough to trace the call, but I... I'm not entirely sure how to how to help with that. It's a TX1138 tube in perfect condition. Right, but what do I do with the tubes? Where do I need the tubes? All right, so we should be able to give the show the check to Mr. Brandt and have him so what happens if we come down? The elevator isn't on this floor. So what happens if we have dead guy here? Scare one person. At, okay, right. Visit Chuck's tomb to get closure. Try to talk to Dolores. Okay, so we do have to try and... Can't cope with the boredom anymore. Talk to me now. Okay. I'm not very good at talking to, you know, strangers, but I'll give it a try. I'm with you there, buddy. How come you're so, you know, upset all the time? That's unfair. I'm not upset all the time. I'm just a little hungry right now, and that makes me angry. That happens to me, too. There should be a word for that. What can ghosts, you know, eat? Good question. As a ghost, it's hard to find food that we can eat. My particular weakness has always been ice cream cake. But I'm stuck in the stupid elevator and I can't get any. Ice cream cake. So, Clara, what's life like? So if somebody brought well, ice know, cream uh, cake into the ghost? elevator. For starters, it's not life. Of course, but you know what I mean, right? What's it like? It's like being a ghost. What do you... You know, want to eat. I'm rather fond of ice cream cake. But yeah, we already know that. says I can't leave the elevator. So we need to get ice cream. Can I, you know, please go to the penthouse? No. Hmm, please. No, you're not my friend. I don't know you anything. All Bye, right, Clara. fine. So we need to get ice cream cake into the elevator for her to eat in order to become friends with her. <sighs> Dolores, it's me, Dad. I'm really proud of you for getting that programmer job. You followed your dreams and didn't let Chuck hold you back. I wish I could have, you know, been as strong as you. Dolores, can you see me? I'm standing right here. Goodbye, Dolores. I miss you. All right, so get food for Claire, get into the penthouse. That doesn't use electricity. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I can't blow on Dolores. That doesn't use electricity. Ah, fine. All right. I need to get into the factory to find evidence to clean. Yes, I know that. Wait, what if we talk to- Do you need some cosplay advice? Oh, it's you. Beep off. I'm not cosplaying. Go away. I quit, so I don't need to deal with you. Right. But, we should be able to, uh, give- Anyway. 
give cancel check to Frank. I have a cancel check for you. Yeah. It clearly says that you were paid by Uncle Chuck to read the will. That it does. My apologies. I'll go to the mansion mansion right away. Thank you. Pew, pew, pew. All right. So let's find out about the... Uh, Let's find out about the will, shall we? I can't reach that. Let's find out about the will real quick. Oops, not there. Uh, first door here? I see we are all yes, here now. Yes, there we go. Excellent. All right. Before we can proceed with the reading of the will, Chuck Edmund has three stipulations. One, Thimbleberry Pie must be served to all present. Two, the reading of the will must take place in Chuck's opulent tomb. Three, crack the encryption on this will. Let me see that. Right. Oh, it's all ones and zeros, Dolores. You figure it out. It is all ones and zeros. Clearly, it's in binary. Uncle Chuck was being clever. Maybe too clever. All right, so now we have to decrypt the co- oh, oh, are you kidding me? Are you serious? This is all in binary. Should be easy to write a program to convert it to ASCII so I can read the will. All right. So, if you just go up to your room... No, that's not your room. Your room's the next one over. My bad! Sorry, Dolores. You just went through all that for nothing, and you gotta go through it again. Your room was right back here. It's working. Whoever created Graphics Basic has a brilliant career ahead of them. Right, so what is the... A short 15 minutes of coding and decoding later. Okay. Hmm. I'm sure I converted the binary properly. Now it's all in hex. I'll need more than a chart to decode this. Like maybe a powerful Commodore 64. Ah, you mean one like they have in, uh, at the convention. So we need to get Pi. What's that vacuum tube? It's an LFG1982 tube in perfect condition. That's, that's great. So let's run back to the convention center real quick and see if we can convert that using that com using their their computer there. It doesn't work with that. It's a puzzle dependency chart. The secret to adventure game design. All right. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Find and use Ch Uncle Chuck's lucky number. All right. Well, that's all going to have to wait until next time because we are actually all out of time for today. I was hoping that this, pew, pew, that, pew. that this computer would be able to do what we needed, but I guess not. As always, thank you guys very much for watching, and don't forget to prod the subscribe button down below so that you can stay tuned for more from Olav Production. If you want to see some crazy, Here we go. Some lazy, you should meet me and my friends. Gave by magical means. No Olaf the Geeky, Prince of Shapir, saved Drakeesha's life by giving the Lion Tar some poison cure pills. The assassin is still at large. There is a major problem these days. Everyone is trying to control how and what you think by controlling what you see.